This is Muffo See That, and today we have April's Loot Crate, my birthday Loot Crate. Um, if I remember correctly, this Loot Crate is Quest, which should be very interesting. Now, one thing to note before I open this is that the uh, thing didn't really come straight. So I don't know why this one is curving super off, by the way. Like, Probably cut into the tape and the side of the box. So I don't know what's up with that, but I'm hoping this is a one time dealio. So, because I'm not sure if they machine it or if they do everything by hand, but it seems oddly weird to have something such oddly misplaced. So, opening up. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Ooh, get this. Loot crate maze thing in here. And a very interesting t shirt. So let's see. Ah! Oh, the, uh, the Labyrinth. David Bowie. The, kind of like the movie photos. I'm not sure, but it, it's in purple. It's very cool. So, yeah. We would create exclusive 20 sided die ice mold. To put top and bottom together, pour water in the hole in the top until 90% full. Freezer overnight, basically. Then gently remove lid from bottom half. So, oh yeah, so it does have the numbers in it. Uh, yes, and they have a nub here and here to ensure that your die will always be accurate to what numbers should be facing up and up. This is cool, it has a bottom for the shelf. So it's my triangular. So you put it like you would an ice ball in a glass of whiskey or something, which is very, very cool. Ugh, put that in there. And then, ooh, a Harry Potter, the diary ring locket cup, Harry T.R. snake. Oh, this is, um, what is it? The, uh, Horror class from the series. So let's see what all of them. And the diary is Tom's diary. Okay. So, whoop. Get that out. The diary, the ring, the locket, the cup, Harry, Tiara, and the snake. The same thing on here. This is the, the uh, seven horror corpses in the book. That's very cool. No. Ooh. Ooh, crate Chronicle. Oh, from the Vikings. Yeah, so this is like a uh, sash or something. I don't know. It's, it's just the. Uh, yeah, so it's a replica. It's not horns. They um, like carrying thing, and there's also a strap that you can use. And you put it around here and here and hold it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, put this in so I don't try to kill anyone with it, though it is rather blunt. Right up. And here we have ooh, a screen print. Poster. Oh yes. 
I am a man of fortune and must seek my fortune. This is Nathan Drake, of course, from the upcoming Uncharted 4 game, A Thief's End, where it is the end of the series as a whole, I believe. Which is rather sad, but everything comes to an end at some point. Well, let's hope that this game comes and leaves at a very high point. So this is loot pin, this is shaped like a shield, this time with a 20 die here. April 2016, quest. And as always, these new loot pens will unlock something epic every month. So go to lootcrate.com slash pins to find out what it is. And here we have quest. Adventure awaits. So, this is a quote from Joseph Campbell from A Hero's Journey, which is uh, something that most of you would read in high school, or at least in AP English for me. So, you enter the forest at the darkest point, where there is no path. Where there is a way or path, it is someone else's path. You are not on your own path. If you follow someone else's way, you are not going to realize your potential. So that's a quote from this book. And this is another Blair Prim Team Loot Crate. Yeah. Focus. It's not focusing. This camera. It's like ADHD. Oh. The uh, Mythic Mixology Tiamat Punch and House Cup. And the uh, exclusive Vikings drinking horn with the strap for it, yeah. From Chronicle Collectibles, that's what it is. And the Harry Potter socks. Letters from the quest. <laughs> this is a uh, thing from Ludo. The elf. I assume from the uh, wording. So this is, I mean, they're giving us some <laughs> backstories. Chunk. And here's the level up apparel. The labyrinth t shirt. The 20 sided die. Mold. A guide to safely avoiding quest. That seems interesting. And then the exclusive Uncharted 4 poster. The loop. Oh, the DLC for Neverwinter. Based on D and D itself, uh, explore and defend one of the most beloved cities from the D and D Forgotten Realms campaign setting as it rises from the ashes of destruction. Sorry for the uh, voice; I am a bit sick. So this is what you get: the Never Winter portion of it. Yeah, and then this is the Loot Crate DX. So this is a uh, step up from the regular loot crates, and then DX is an elevator assortment of collectibles, apparel, and home goods, and more from your favorite franchises every month. Hundred dollar value for uh, fifty bucks, including shipping and handling. So yeah, and choose your loot venture. Uh, and this has the loot anime crate that started up a few months ago, and then. The Firefly crate, which is a bi monthly crate, so it's every two months. That's cool. Then featured looters from the various crates from the year. Then Word Gush, yeah. And then Loot Pets crate. And then the Mega crate for this month, which is really cool because it has Adventure Time in it. And I hope this crate would have an adventure time in it, but it didn't. And the mini mega crate. That's it. So, that's some very interesting stuff in here that I hope you guys enjoyed, as I did. And I'm going to be using these 
some of these in the future anyway. So, uh, stay tuned for the other crates that should come end of this month, early May. I would have the uh, Civil War crate coming early May for the uh, movie coming out in a few weeks and then the Legion of Collectors crate, the DC version, which uh, is about the CW TV shows, like, well, most of them, two or three of them. So it's just Arrow, Flash, and Supergirl, so that's the current live action DC shows coming out. So, this is this month's Loot Crate. I'll see you guys next time for new reviews. So, see you guys later.